Understanding Django middleware can really help take your skills with the Django web framework to the next level. And in this video, we're going to define a simple middleware class in Django that lets you put your site into maintenance mode based on a setting in the application. So we're going to explore what middleware is and how to define a middleware class in Django. And we'll also see why middleware is a good option if you want to put your web application into maintenance mode temporarily. So let's get started and give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this content and also it would be great if you would subscribe to the channel for more. Let's dive in. So let's start with a quick look at the Django documentation on middleware. Middleware is a framework of hooks into Django's request and response processing. And this is a light, low-level plug-in system for globally altering Django's input and output. Now I'm not going to go over this documentation in too much detail. We did a previous video on middleware that should be appearing on the screen now. So if you want to learn more, you can check that out. What we're going to do is open up VS Code and we have a very simple Django starter project here. It contains a single URL pattern and that's hooked up to a view called index. So let's go to views.py and this is a very simple view. All it does is return a template called index.html and we can look at that template now by going to index.html and it's very simple, it contains a header tag saying we're in and there's also some dummy lorem ipsum text. Now we can very quickly look at the page if we go to the browser, this is the page that's served by that URL and view in Django. Now let's imagine that we're performing some kind of back-end maintenance Maybe we're migrating to a new database or potentially we are patching the servers where our Django applications are deployed. Now we don't necessarily need to take our site offline when we do these tasks or we don't need to put the site into maintenance mode. There are strategies for performing things like rolling updates and deployments but let's say that these are not an option for our application and we need to put the app into maintenance mode. Now again, we did a previous video on an external third-party package that allows you to do this very easily. Again, that should be on the screen now, but let's say you don't want to install a third-party package. What you can do is write a middleware class to take your site and put it into maintenance mode for a particular period of time. So let's dive in and see how to do that. What we're going to do is go to VS Code and within the application in this Django project called Core, I'm going to create a new file that we're going to call middleware.py. And within this file, what we're going to do is create a class. So this is going to be a middleware class that we're going to call maintenance mode middleware. Now, if we go back to the Django documentation, we can get the basic structure of a middleware class from the docs. I'm going to copy these lines of code here for this simple middleware. And we can go back to VS Code and I'm going to paste these in here. So the basic structure of a middleware is it has a dunder init method. And that's what's called when you construct the class. Django will pass a callable called getResponse into the middleware and that's stored on the class using the self.getResponse property. And this is a one-time configuration and initialization that happens when you start the project, i.e. when you run the server for the first time. So the dunder init method will construct the middleware and store the getResponse callable on the class. And then we have the dunder call method. And this is what's actually executed on each request. So before the view and any later middleware are called, what happens here is that we get the response by calling self.getResponse and we pass the request into that. And this request is passed into the call method. So we have access to properties on the request and one of the use cases of middleware is to actually amend or augment the request in some way. And for example, Django itself has an authentication middleware that will add a property to the request called user. So this is the structure of the middleware and what happens after the response is generated but before it's potentially returned is that you can execute code that will be applied after the view is called. So for example, you might want to add a header to the response. Now I'm going to remove these comments here and we're going to define the logic for a maintenance mode middleware in this dunder call method. Now one other thing I want to do at the top is import some constructs from Python's logging module. So we're importing the logging package and that's part of Python's standard library and we create a logger object on line 3 using the get logger function. We then create a handler and this is a stream handler and because we're not passing a stream in it's going to output to standard error and then we create a formatter and we pass it into the handler using the set formatter method and this formatter here from the logging module it takes a format string and we're passing in the time at which the log message was generated as well as the log level and the actual message that we pass in. And finally we add the handler to our logger object and we're setting the level on that logger object to info. And that means that any log output of level info or with a severity that's greater than info is going to appear in the output. 
Now I mentioned that what we can do with the request is add properties like request.user or request.session. That's what Django's internal middleware does. What we could also do is we could conditionally redirect users or return specific responses under certain conditions. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video for the maintenance mode. Now what we're going to check here in the Dunder call method before we generate the response, we're going to check if our Django application has a setting called maintenance mode. And we're going to check if that's set to true. So the idea is that when we want to turn on maintenance mode, we're going to create a Django setting for that. So let's go over to settings.py and I'm going to go right to the bottom of this file and we're going to define a new setting here called maintenance mode. And I'm going to set this to false for now. So by default, the application is not in maintenance mode and that's probably what you want. We can then read the value of this variable in the middleware. So let's go back to middleware.py and at the top from django.conf, we can import the settings for this project. Now let's go down to the Dunder call method in our middleware class. And we want to check here what the value of that maintenance mode property is. So let's check if settings.maintenance mode. And for now, I'm going to pass here. We're going to perform some kind of action if the maintenance mode setting is set to true. And we enter this if statement. But let's add the logging statements just in this Thunder call method. I'm going to log out using the info log level, a message here. And at this stage of the middleware, we'll log out something simple like request received. And inside the if statement, let's use a logger.warning message. And we'll output a message here that the application is in maintenance mode. Now you might not necessarily add these exact logging statements in production, but we're going to add them here. So when the request comes into the middleware, we will output a message with the info log level saying that we have received the request. And if the application is in maintenance mode, we're going to also output a log message with the warning log level. And we're going to say that the application is in maintenance mode. So let's now test this out. But before we do that, we need to go back to settings.py. So we have a maintenance mode middleware, but we need to actually register that in the Django middleware setting. And you can find middleware settings in the settings.py file. And we have a list of the pre-configured Django middleware here. At the bottom of that, we're going to add the path to our custom middleware. So the middleware we've just written is in the core application and it's in a file called middleware.py. So we can reference core.middleware. And then we just need to reference the name of the class and we call the class maintenance mode middleware. And once we've added this middleware to the list of middleware classes, that means the logic in the Dunder call method is going to be called for every request response cycle in the Django application. So let's now test this out. We have the server running. I'm going to go back to the browser where we have this page. And when I refresh the page, you can see we get back the same page, albeit with some different lorem ipsum text. But what we want to do now is we want to put the application into maintenance mode. Before we do that, let's check the terminal and you can see the log message here with the level of info. And that tells us that the request was received in that middleware class. If we go back to settings.py and scroll back down to the bottom here, we're going to turn maintenance mode on by setting the value to true here. And then let's go back to the browser and refresh the page. Now we get the same page at the moment. And that's because if we go back to middleware.py, we're not actually performing any actions here in this if statement. All we're doing is logging a message to the terminal with a level of warning. And you can see that at the bottom here, we have the log message of the level warning telling us that the application is in maintenance mode. So what we now need to do is actually add something into this if statement. Now let's do something very simple here. I'm going to go to the top and from django.http, let's import the HTTP response class. And all we're going to do if the application is in maintenance mode is return a particular HTTP response. So let's return an HTTP response now. And that takes some content that you want to send back to the client as a parameter. So let's now send a string here. Application is in maintenance mode. Please try again later. And because we're returning from the function here, it means that the lines of code below are not going to be executed if the application is in maintenance mode. So this request that's coming in, if we're in maintenance mode, it's never actually going to reach the view for that request. And that's again what we want if we're in maintenance mode. We don't have any reason to hit the view functions. We can simply return an HTTP response with this content here. And you could be doing something a little bit more sophisticated. For example, you might have a maintenance mode Django template. And that would be an HTML file that might contain some CSS and be styled a bit better than this. So you can also return that if you're in maintenance mode within this if statement. Let's now test this out and see if we get back an HTTP response with this message when we are in maintenance mode. So let's go back to the browser 
And this time, when we refresh the page, we get back this very basic maintenance mode template. So the request to the application has been intercepted by the middleware and the user has been served a different response because of that maintenance mode setting. So that's our maintenance mode middleware in a nutshell. If we go back to the settings.py file and set the maintenance mode variable back to false, let's go back to the browser and this time we're going to get back the normal page because our application is no longer in maintenance mode. And if we go back to middleware.py, this if statement that changes the response will not be executed. And that's because the maintenance mode setting is not going to evaluate to true. So this is a very simple maintenance mode middleware in Django. What we can also do is write tests for this middleware based on the logic that we have in the Dunder call method. Now in order to do that, we're gonna to go to tests.py. And this is a file that's included in a Django application when you create a new app within a Django project. And by default at the top, we're importing the test case from the Django.test package. So let's create a test class here and we're gonna call it maintenance mode middleware test. And that's going to inherit from Django's test case. And we're gonna create a setup method and that's gonna be called before every single test in this class. And we need to pass self because it's a method on the class. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a client in Django. So that's Django's testing client. And we're going to store that on a self.client property on the class. Now let's create a client here. We're gonna instantiate that, but we also need to import that from Django.test at the top. So let's import the client and we're instantiating it here. And what we do with this client is we use it to send requests to URLs in our Django application. Now within the class, we're gonna write two test methods. So let's start first of all by testing that we get the maintenance page when our maintenance mode setting is set to true. So let's go back to tests.py and we're gonna create a testing function here. And I'm gonna call this function test response when maintenance mode is on. Now that's a very verbose function name, but that's common when you're writing test functions. And as it says in the name of this function, this is a test that's going to be applied when maintenance mode is set to true. Now, one thing about tests is that we don't know what the actual settings are going to be in the Django project, and these settings can change with time. So when we write a test that depends on a setting having a particular value, we can use a decorator provided in the Django.test module, and that's the override settings decorator. So let's import that from Django.test, and we're going to decorate this test function here with the override settings decorator. And what we're gonna set as the setting here is the maintenance mode, and we're gonna set that to true for this test. So let's go into the body of the function. We're gonna generate a response by using self.client, and we're gonna call the .get method. And that's gonna send a get request to the URL that we provide as a parameter. And that's gonna give us back a response. And what we want to do is check that the response contains a particular piece of text. And to do that, we can use the self.assertContains function that's defined in the Django test case. So we pass the response into that function and the second parameter is the text that we want to assert is present in that response. Now I'm gonna go back to middleware.py and we're gonna copy this line of code here or rather we're gonna copy the text that we're passing as the response to the HTTP response class. And we're gonna paste that in here as the argument. Now I'm gonna do this on a new line just so that we can see it better. And we're asserting that the response contains this when maintenance mode is set to true. And one thing that we could do in middleware.py, as I said earlier, is return a Django template. And if we did that, what we could do in tests.py is we could use another function called assert template used. That would take the response as well as the first parameter. And you can imagine that we might have a template called maintenance.html. So if you do have something like that, you can use the assert template used test method in order to make that assertion. So that's our test for testing the response when maintenance mode is on. We can run that on the terminal. So I'm gonna stop the server and clear this terminal out. And we can run python manage.py test in order to run that unit test. And you can see that one test was run and no errors were received here. All the tests passed okay. Now notice that we have some logging messages here. If you're interested, we can actually disable these in our tests and that might make the tests marginally quicker. In order to disable, what we can do is import the logging module at the top. And then within the setup method, we can use a function on the logging module called disable. And what this takes is a severity level. And what I'm gonna pass in here is logging.critical and that's the highest severity level. So the disable function is gonna disable all logging calls of that level and anything below that level. So by passing in the highest severity level, it means that all logging messages are going to be disabled. So let's now test the inverse of this. We're gonna test the response when maintenance mode is off, just to make sure that we get back what we expect here. So I'm gonna copy the first two lines of code here and go down and paste them in. 
and we need to change the setting here. So maintenance mode is going to be off. So we set that to false. And I'm also going to change the name of this function from on to off. Now the first two lines of code are going to be similar to the above. So I'm going to paste these into the second test method. Again, we're going to use the Django test client to send a get request to that URL. And then we're going to use the assert contains method below here. And again, we pass the response into that, but we need to change what we're looking for here with the assert contains function. So when we get a normal response at this URL, it's going to return the index.html template. So we're going to look for this message here in the response. So let's paste that into the assert contains statement. And actually, as well as that, we can use the function I mentioned a second ago, and that was assert template used. That takes the response and the name of the template was index.html. That's the template that's served up by this particular URL. So let's save this test function here and go back to the terminal and run the manage.py test command. We've run two tests and again, we're not getting any failures. And notice as well, we don't get those logging messages. And that's because of this logging.disable call in the setup method. And with that, we're done. We've written a maintenance mode middleware in Django in this video. And we also wrote some tests for that middleware as well. If you have any other suggestions for content around this kind of topic, let us know in the comments and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.